everyone i hope you all are good and you all are safe welcome back to my channel one's third so in this video we will be covering the timeline of pride and prejudice so let me tell you that i'm using a website and i will pin down below the link of that website in the comment section or in the description below so you can check that out too but i will be explaining the main points of pride and prejudice now for those who don't know what is pride and prejudice so pride and prejudice is a novel which is written by jane austen and jane austen was a great great writer of 18th century that was known for including the societal problems and issues of the 18th century in her novel so starting with the first thing now i really wanted to discuss about the plot of pride and prejudice but of course it is a big novel and to discuss each and everything and the main points it is difficult to cover it in one video so after this video i hope so i will be uploading the plot of pride and prejudice for all those who really want to hear that up so these are just the main points that will cover the whole novel starting with the first thing charles bingley moves into netherfield now charles bingley is a person he is a boy that moves into netherfield now as i've already told you that jane austen covers the societal issues norms of 18th century so at that time wealth was considered a huge huge thing and charles bingley was a wealthy man so charles bingley moves in netherfield now when mr bingley moves to town there is insignificant excitement among the five unmarried bannett sisters now there are five sisters and the eldest one is jane austen then elizabeth then mary kitty and lydia then lydia was the third one so when mr bingley moved to town there was an excitement among those five sisters now why was what was the excitement for the excitement was to marry that man as that norm of 18th century was to marry a wealthy man because women were not allowed to work so they were not that financially strong now these five bennet sisters they were the daughters of mr bennet and mrs bennet and mrs bennet was a woman who really wanted her daughters to get married to a wealthy man so they were excited for that so this is the main thing for that then the next thing is the first ball party at meryton now as they were excited and mrs bannard she was into that boy they were so happy for that that the man is very wealthy and all and when the first ball party was arranged by mr bannard sorry by mr bingley he also invited mr bannard and mr mrs bannard along with their daughters so when they were at their mr bingley his guests the bannets and many more attend the ball in meryton one of the bannet daughters jane has the pleasure of dancing with mr bingley twice and a connection between them is revealed so mr bingley got a chance to dance with jane bannet which is the eldest sister of the bannet sisters then mr bingley's friend mr darcy now mr darcy is the hero of the novel and elizabeth bennet is the heroine as pride and prejudice this significant title is representing them the pride of mr darcy and the prejudice of elizabeth bennet i will be explaining the themes in the next videos probably so these two events become the talk of the evening as well as the next day due to mr bingley's admiration towards jane and mr darcy's pride so elizabeth is dancing sorry elizabeth is standing over there okay the names are so confusing so don't get confused listen to me carefully so jane got a chance to dance with mr bingley they were dancing along mr darcy was not dancing with anyone and mr bingley as a friend asked him to approach any girl and told him that miss elizabeth is very beautiful you can dance with her so mr darcy says that she is tolerable but not handsome enough to tempt me and miss elizabeth hear that thing so that was the thing from where the pride and prejudice of both of them started 
Then the next very important event is Jane visits Mr. Bingley at Netherfield. Okay, so Jane was invited again to Mr. Bingley's place. Jane receives a letter from Bingley's inviting her to Netherfield Park for a day. Mrs. Bennet chooses to send her by horse in hopes that it will rain and she will be forced to spend the night there. Now, you can see that Mrs. Bennet is too much into these things. She was making situations. She was creating those situations so that her daughters can settle over there and her daughter might get a chance to marry that wealthy man. So, however, however, it rains on her way there and she falls severely ill. So, of course, she had to live there. But Elizabeth, then she visited Jane at Netherfield. Now, Elizabeth is a very sensible girl. And she was on that thing that why her mother is getting mean. And even she's not, like, she's not that kind of a mother who's very caring that, okay, fine, her daughter is getting ill or her daughter might get sick. But she is into all those things that, okay, fine, she'll get a chance to marry that wealthy man. So you see that thing, you see that tone of sarcasm and all. So it represents the norms of 18th century. And Jane Austen has this legacy as a writer that she is representing all those norms in that novel very carefully and very witfully. So Elizabeth was at Jane's at Nederfield. Then um, she got recovered then when um, Elizabeth she was visiting over there she was filled with mud um, her clothes were dirty and all and she was mocked for that so it is all those things which Mr. Darcy was there Mr. Darcy uh, begins to have feelings towards Elizabeth when he saw her again so it was something that was starting the feelings were getting hit now mr collins comes to town now for all those who don't know who is mr collins so mr collins is a cousin cousin brother or cousin of the five bennett sisters so as mr bennett has no son so the inheritance was going to be with mr collins so when mr bennett dies okay now this is the thing which i really want to correct for this uh, website kerry spittle there's nothing kind of an evidence. I have read the whole novel and there's no such thing in it that Mr. Bennett dies. So you can correct that thing as well. And you should not blindly follow any website. Just telling you for the knowledge that because on Google, there are many websites and many things. I did like the timeline that it is according to the important points. So that is why I'm using it. But I will be telling you if anything in it is wrong okay so mr calling comes to town he visit bennett and he was um, firstly interested in jane bennett but when he heard of um, jane getting along with mr bingley her uh, his eyes was on elizabeth bennett so or heroine so M mrs bennett was um, more like she was interested that okay fine if inheritance is going towards him one of the daughters could marry him and they could get the inheritance as well but elizabeth barnett she was not interested in him because he was a very pompous kind of a character then mr wickham now he's a man who's the clear villain of the story so mr wickham comes to the town now mr wickham is a very handsome man who has just joined the militia Instantly, Elizabeth has growing interest in him and he started manipulating things to Elizabeth. He started telling her that uh, Mr. Darcy is not a good man and Mr. Darcy did not help him. Mr. Darcy talked shit about her sister. So, of course, that was the thing which was getting rebellious. Then, for that, the second ball party was arranged and Darcy and Elizabeth started dancing over there. So after Elizabeth's encounter with Mr. Wickham, she's eager to share the first dance with him. Now, Elizabeth Bennet was waiting for Mr. Wickham, but what happened is Mr. Wickham did not appear. Why? Because he was afraid of Mr. Darcy, because in reality, he was a villain and he was, whatever he was saying, it was a lie. Other than the thing that he talked about um, Jane Bannett, because he really talked about her, but in a different tone, in a different way. Then 
Later in the evening, she ends up dancing with Mr. Darcy and their conversations are awkward, especially when she mentions Mr. Wickham, a topic, a topic which Mr. Darcy clearly does not want to discuss. Now, whatever he, she had like listened about Mr. Darcy from Mr. Wickham, she um, discussed it in hidden words with Mr. Darcy and he really don't want to talk about him. Then the other important event was Elizabeth rejecting Mr. Collins' proposal. As I already told you, she rejected him because she was not having any interest in him. And um, then Charlotte Lucas, the friend of Mr. Elizabeth, sorry, Mr. Elizabeth, Miss Elizabeth, she um, married or she gets married to Mr. Collins because she said that, okay, fine, I have an age and I really want to get married now, so why not Mr. Collins? while elizabeth was not really happy for that decision now you can see another norm over here that mad to get married for a woman it was very necessary and not just for a woman for a man as well so that is an important woman then miss bingley's letter to jane jane receives a letter from miss bingley explaining how her and bingley have decided to return to london she also implies that miss bingley's plans on marrying darcy's sister georgina georgiana is um darcy's sister and jane is quite upset that darcy could just leave and loses hope that they are getting married Mrs. Bennet is furious. Now, you know why is she furious? You should know that. <laughs> that Jane allowed a husband to escape her. Then marriage between Collins and Charlotte Lucas. I've already told you that. Then Mr. Wickham telling Elizabeth he is going after Miss King. So Wickham's attention shifts from Elizabeth to another girl, Miss King, who has just inherited a large fortune. So you can guess what was the character of Mr. Wickham. He was a greedy man. He was a liar. He was a villain of the story. At first, Elizabeth is devastated, but she soon, soon realizes that his primary criteria for marrying is money. Now, she realizes that, okay, fine, he's that kind of a man. Elizabeth refusing Darcy's proposal. Okay, the first proposal uh, which Darcy made towards Elizabeth, it was rejected because uh, he was accused of two things, which I've already told you. Then... Um, Lydia and Wickham, they run away and Lydia was the third sister of um, the Bennet family and then when she ran away, it was of course a great big spot on the family and here comes the climax. They ran away but what happened is Mr. Darcy, he helped them to get married because Wickham was always after money so Darcy paid a huge amount to him then money given to Wickham so he'll marry Lydia I've already discussed that then marriage of Bingley and Jane Jane and Bingley get married then marriage of Darcy and Elizabeth okay now this story over here is getting um closed soon but there are some important events as well um in which Elizabeth will receive a letter from Mr. Darcy and Mr. Darcy will explain all those things which he was accused of and I can discuss all these things in the plot so I will be ending the video over here because it is getting too much long so just keep all these important events in your mind and it will help you along to understand the story as well so that is all for this video I hope you enjoyed it even if you did not we will be discussing the story again in the plot. So, inshallah, you will get to know the story in the much bigger perspective over there. So, ignore the noises behind and listen to the story. And we will meet you in the next video. For that, you have to wait for it and you have to subscribe my channel and comment down below your favorite part of the story or your favorite event from the story other than the marriage of the hero, hero and heroine. Of course, it can be your favorite part, but you can choose another event as well. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe my channel. Allah Hafiz.